Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sochil. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of my videos. Today, super excited for a new drugstore foundation review. A very, very affordable $6 and like 49 cents. Wet n Wild came out with their Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. So a couple years ago, they actually had their just general Photo Focus Foundation. And it was like a soft matte foundation. And I remember trying it out also specifically in the winter time and surprisingly I have dry skin if you're new here but I really liked it it was a very like breathable soft matte foundation that dry skin could wear but now they have a dewy foundation, which I am trying not to get too excited for <laughs> because I'm just, uh, I don't know. We shall see how this works. I wanted to also pick up their Luminous, the Photo Focus Luminous Primer Base. And I wanted to see like, do you need the primer with the foundation or can you just use like whatever other primer you have? So one half of my face, I'll use the Wet n Wild Luminous Primer. They also had a matte one. And the other half, I'll go in with the Dewy Foundation. I'm super excited. I'll list the prices uh, for both below, but $6.49. I feel like it kind of went up, but if not, $6.49 is still really great. So let's go in. I'm just going to get right into it because I am super excited and I got things to do. So I'm going to do a wear test throughout the day today. And we are going to do some check-in. So it's about 12.30 p.m. And I know starting a little bit late, but I actually did not start late with my day. <laughs> I actually actually got up at like 7 a.m. and went to the gym and I made breakfast I cleaned all that stuff so now we're gonna run an errand so let's go in with the right side of my face so this is like a little stick like bomb so I'm not sure how I feel about it yet this is definitely one of those where you probably should not I would highly recommend not sharing you know um, interesting so you could just go in with your hand but I don't look like I didn't put anything on my face. So you can draw it on, which is convenient. Or if you're a little germophobic, you know, maybe grab it with your finger and wipe it off later. So it doesn't feel like a regular luminous foundation. It just feels like, I don't know. I don't know if I feel a little more plump. It's interesting. Hmm. Don't want to put too much. Okay. We shall see. So I put that on primer stick i've never actually used a primer stick and on the other half of my face i'm actually going to go in with my elf poreless putty primer and just because this has been like my go-to primer so i just want to see for those of you like me who already have it you've been using it will it work well with this foundation and i've prepped my skin i've hydrated i've been hydrating i've been very good I've been drinking my water as well i'll link down below my winter skin prep foundation routine that just makes a difference so we'll see pay attention to which side of my face i much prefer with this foundation it's weird it almost feels like i don't have anything on this side of my face and like you know for sure i can feel the elf poreless putty like i would normally i guess a primer like that was interesting i wonder how it would go on if my skin was like really really dry also, what I'm going to do as well, just to see how I like the foundation better because everybody uses different tools. I want to see what I prefer because it's just something I got to test out is which beauty tool to use. So one half of my face, I think this side, we're just going to go in with the Morphe sponge. And then this half of my face, I'm actually going to go in with the Makeup Geek Foundation Stippling Flat Top Brush just to see which one. Because honestly, for me, like dewy foundations, it can, it can be either one where I prefer maybe a brush or maybe a sponge or just you know both or whatever it just depends on your preference and which is going to give us more coverage i picked up mine in the shade soft beige this is actually the shade that i have on the other regular photo focus foundation so i was like all right it worked this one is probably a little bit more yellow it was between soft beige and buff beige so we're gonna see how this goes this is supposed to be a, a dewy hydrating finish a medium to full coverage supposed to be so we shall see so let's do this side of my face with the beauty blender and once again like the regular photo focus foundation it kind of has like that spatula so you can paint it on and see how you like it so i just did one dip it has kind of a strong smell so if you're sensitive to smell you might not like it not totally like paint but kind of okay now i'm gonna go in with the sponge and start blending that out Okay. 
feels it looks a little bit lighter I would say with the sponge at least at least but I mean it's covering its redness but I can still see that little guy peeking through right there and this is on top of the luminous base primer but look at the difference already Ooh, we are looking better I can see the glow but my thing is will the glow stay don't get your hopes up it blends out really easily it's definitely on more of the liquidy side I don't feel like it's like full-on medium I've tried medium before I would say it's more of a light coverage at least with the sponge let's see how it goes on with the brush especially yeah my redness I feel like I'm gonna have to cover that up this is the side with one layer and the sponge here's without so you can see the difference covers up a little bit still got that and I still have you can see I kind of see the redness right here all right let's do this side of my face on top of the poreless putty primer Yeah, it's got a strong smell. Not the biggest fan, but I'm not like super sensitive. I wonder if it will irritate my skin. We shall see. So, oh yeah, can already see. Yeah, definitely with a brush, I think I feel like I get a little bit more of that medium coverage than I did with the sponge. You can go in with, sometimes I, you know, I'm a little bit extra and I go in with both. I think I'm going to finish off the rest of the face with the brush just because I like the coverage better. But what I'll probably do is finish off just to get that coverage and then just lightly dab on top with the sponge. But you can still kind of see a little bit of redness peeking through. So it's not like full on medium, I feel like, even with the brush. It's like a medium to light but let's see if it's how buildable it is. Soft beige is definitely a little on the yellow side, but I would prefer a little bit more on the yellow than on the pink. I lean more neutral. I feel like the brush just gives you a tiny bit more coverage when you blend it out, because I can see the redness peeking through a little bit less than like right here. So let's go in with two layers. And I don't even think, I think I'm just gonna use like one, just pass through one more time with one little scoop in the areas where I really need it. Pat that through, two layers. Oh yeah, I like it, yeah, two layers, personally. But I've got some things going on. Definitely looks pretty dewy. And it's supposed to be made for normal to dry skin, which is rare to hear that something is specifically made for dry skin. If you're a dry skin girl, you know, comment down below if you agree with me. Cause yeah, usually it's like normal to oily or all skin tights, but it's not really like this is dewy. So yeah, I doubt people with really oily skin are gonna like this. They did have, like I said, a mattifying primer similar like the primer stick similar to that dewy one so maybe that's a way that you can wear it but i have i honestly have not seen any reviews yet i've not watched on purpose just to see a what's up but mm -hmm. oh that looks nice okay sorry the lighting was kind of weird so yeah i just wanted to see there you go i was looking a little bit green there <laughs> oh very good feel free to touch it up go on top just ever so lightly with the beauty blender but i think i think you can do both i think both are fine you just want a little bit extra coverage going with the brush but the beauty blender you can definitely build it up for sure oh okay. oh that's that's actually sitting pretty nicely okay that looks really nice i'm excited oh my god oh my god oh, oh ah! Oh, I'm excited. Oh my god, do you see that dew? And I am in Chicago and it is the winter time. It's about like 25 30 degrees right now. This morning it was like 25 degrees, so maybe it's like 30. So it is freaking cold. So let's see how this lasts in the cold weather. But oh, just look at that glow. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I am glowing in the winter time. <laughs> Oh, for six dollars like oh my god oh my god because usually especially sometimes there's like dewy foundations for dry skin and a lot of times dewy foundations are very light coverage so i'm excited for a medium 
to full coverage dewy foundation from the drugstore so oh my god okay i'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and i'll be right back all right i finished up the rest of my face did something very simple bronzer brows lashes and a lipstick a little bit of bronzer for my crease but i specifically didn't even want to put on any face highlight just so that we don't confuse the glow together but now what i'm going to do before i finish up i'm going to use my um setting spray and my max fix plus to set my face because that's what i do all the time however feel free to use your type of hydrating dewy finishing spray yourself and I don't want to overdo it. I'm just doing one layer today because, you know, I normally do two. And we're going to uh, lock it in for the day with the Milani Make It Less Setting Spray. All right, so this is uh, the look. I'm ready to go out. It is around like 1 o'clock now. And both sides honestly look really good. Very, very similar. Both look very nice. I'm still looking dewy. Like, ooh, like this glow is a nice. So what I'm going to be looking out for for my check-ins is whether, you know, which side holds up better. The primer stick side from Wet n Wild or my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer on this side. Uh, that's the one that I'm going to keep using with this foundation but so far very dewy so i'll see you guys back in a couple of hours to see how it's holding up throughout the day hey guys so it's almost quarter to five i almost forgot to do this check-in i'm like falling asleep i was like i cannot fall asleep if i do to fall asleep like up <laughs> I'm so tired. I woke up early today, but I wanted to do this almost four hour check in for you guys just to kind of give you an idea of how things are going. And I went to Target doing my own check ins there, checking myself out throughout the store, seeing what's going on. And I still look very dewy, very glowy. So, therefore, I definitely feel like oily skin is probably not going to like this unless maybe you use a mattifying primer then you'll probably get like that nice glow but i can see it maybe being too much now in comparing um this side right here with just the elf poreless putty primer underneath and this side for the wet and wild luminous primer i feel like i prefer the elf poreless putty once again it's just freaking great but i feel like definitely around here too it looks dewier with the elf poreless putty than the wet and wild luminous primer and this is just the regular elf poreless putty this isn't their luminous one or anything and i feel like i definitely just see the glow one thing that i did notice on this side was that it with the luminous primer it was starting to get a little bit dry around my nose area but we are still looking good on the elf side so Overall, though, I feel like it's still holding up pretty well with the Illuminous Primer, but I think just a slight things, I just prefer the e.l.f. one a little bit more. I feel like, in general, it just kind of keeps the dew together, and I just kind of see little small, tiny little parts around this side of my face with the Illuminous Primer just starting to dry up just a little bit more, but it's really slight. You really can't tell all that much. Like, you really have to be close. My chin is looking good. I was afraid. I was like, is something just going on with my chin? Because I did another uh, foundation review the other day, too. But no, we're looking good. My nose, my T-zone is uh, looking good. Uh, might I say, I was like, ooh, do I need to powder or something like that? It's not, like, too, like, greasy feeling for me. I feel like it definitely shows more of a glow on camera than like in person like in person it looks really really nice my bronzer is holding up really well too i didn't do blush or anything i didn't do highlight this is just my natural glow but if you're normal skin i can maybe see here where you might start to feel just a little bit more dewy than you would like uh you might have to maybe powder down or maybe add like uh what are those like sheets i don't use those i don't know what these are but <laughs> um what is it like the oil sheets the oil absorbing sheets and stuff like that you might feel that but i'm digging it i am liking it it looks really really nice i actually yeah i am liking this a lot so i think i'll probably check back in and maybe three and a half four hours because i just don't know how long i'm gonna stay awake i'm so tired and i'm supposed to go to the gym tomorrow morning 
at like 5 30 a.m 6 a.m we'll see what time we get there but uh just want to give you guys a little check-in still looking pretty good pretty intact we're not looking splotchy or anything like that so i'm excited we'll see how this holds up in the next couple of hours hey guys so it is now 9 p.m i made it <laughs> i didn't think i was gonna stay up this long but i can't wait to take this makeup off just because i'm really tired and it's five hours since my last check-in and eight hours total which is probably the amount of time i'd want to see how a foundation would kind of work for me i feel like a nice long work day and eight hours later and we are still glowing and might i mention i did not once touch up my lipstick this is ColourPop, their matte liquid lipstick in fuego if you haven't seen my last haul that i just did ColourPop, check that out but no touch-ups i've drinking two cups of coffee lots of water soup uh and snacks and mm. anyway back to the foundation we are definitely still looking very dewy i would say for someone who has dry skin like me i know around especially like my cheek areas is definitely very very glowy and maybe one of those where i might just kind of naturally or normally i feel like even especially when i'm like not doing a regular makeup review i think it would just be my instinct to kind of just pat that in maybe with a little bit of a beauty blender or something but it's still not like bad it looks like i'm not used to that like oh my god am i a little bit oily or whatever but that's like it so therefore i just feel like once again oily skin you're probably gonna look like a little grease ball but my bronzer still looks really good and I really like this foundation i am looking forward to trying it once again wet and wild photo focus dewy foundation six dollars and fifty cents i got mine at walgreens so if you go to walmart or target maybe you can get it for even cheaper maybe like five dollars or something but oh my god in the winter time i am glowing for six dollars and fifty cents um hell to the yes and i think it just honestly this held up really well around like my face so i can just imagine like every other season this is just gonna glide on my face even better the fact that it looks this good in the winter and the cold weather says a lot for the Photo Focus Luminous Primer Stick, honestly, from the Elf Poreless Putty Primer and the Wet n Wild Luminous Primer Stick, there's not too huge of a difference. I was like trying to compare both sides. I would say I think I honestly just lean towards the Elf Poreless Putty Primer just a little bit more, just because I did notice uh, this area definitely, you know, is getting a little bit cakey there, a little bit dry, and just minor areas around my face is just getting a little bit drier as compared to like the elf poreless putty which looks great like we're good like even like this side of my nose is still looking good as compared to you know you got that guy going on there but it's just like honestly very minorly and maybe two hours more i would see a little bit more dryness but still good there's really like not too much of a difference so do i feel like you need the luminous primer base not really but if you want to try one i didn't dislike it it held up very well in comparison to the elf poreless putty i think both are great i don't think it's necessary but if you want to get it i think it's going to work great just depends how you want to um apply your primer if you don't like it in a stick kind of like that for like sanitary purposes then just use whatever other like if it's in a tube or like the poreless putty that you pick up with a spatula but the foundation, especially if you have dry skin, pick it up, check it out. If you have normal skin, I think you'll also really enjoy this in the winter time as well. I feel like it can be it can be hit or miss. Maybe in the summertime, I really wonder with the heat how it'll kind of hold up. But for a nice, I would say medium coverage. If you want to add a little bit more, I don't think it's necessary. Oh, this was so this this was so nice. My chin is looking good i would say maybe yeah just in the chin area this is where it's starting to get a little bit drier on the side with the foundation stick but just barely and that's after like eight hours like i can't even really notice it just minorly like you have to be really close up to notice that but mm, if you want to glow in the winter time oh my god i'm so excited you guys should totally pick this up i approve i'm so excited i definitely want to do some more tutorials with this i hope wet and wild has some other like maybe eyeshadow palettes and stuff that i can try out as well but i saw this at walgreens i picked it up super excited let me know if you guys end up picking it up honestly for six dollars and fifty cents if you need a very affordable foundation get this one
go to your Walgreens and, you know, keep the receipt just in case you can't find, you know, your right color or anything, return it. They, I have not had troubles at Walgreens so far returning makeup, whether I liked it or not, or exchange or whatever. So make sure you get your right color also, or if not, wait at Walmart or Target when it kind of, you know, pops up in store and pick it up, especially if you have dry skin. I think you're really going to enjoy this foundation. I am glowing and I am loving it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mini review demo kind of of check-in foundation review and primer as well we got a little two products going on here i'm so excited to get this up for you guys and for you guys to check it out make sure to let me know if you pick it up and or if you maybe just prefer the regular photo focus foundation i feel like it's great now that wet and wild has two options so whether you lean more towards a soft matte finish or a dewy they've got both kind of curious kind of want to mix them up now because i think i still have my other um soft focus not soft focus photo focus foundation the soft matte one so i kind of want to see if we marry them together what we will get but don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of my videos and find out what else is coming out in the drugstore affordable makeup check out my reviews demos tutorials and i'll see you guys next time